place for 12 years ago, I believe it was, he was house sitting. Little did I know that he would be publishing on Camu Camu so soon. But there's new information on just that one whole fruit. Actually, my favorite fruit next to the muscadine from down south. And it tastes rather like that. Now, last time I talked to you, this group, I said, well, it's said to contain ellagic acid. But uh, this time, I can say it contains about 480 milligrams of ellagic acid per kilo. And that's significant. So that's news on the whole thing. We don't want to talk just about that incredible quantity of vitamin C, but now we add ellagic acid, and now we can add quercetin with quantitative data. I believe it was uh, 240 milligrams per kilogram. And then there was the quercetrin, very close kin to quercetin, which was down to about, a, well, it was about 70. And then one that's actually the A-glycone, the glycoside of the quercetin, rutin, was there at significant quantities, about 130. And each of those is anti-inflammatory, and each of those is antioxidant, on top of the vitamin C we've been praising so many years. So I was delighted that Kurt Renertson will be publishing this in two months in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry showing yet some more of the magic in the whole Camu Camu, the spirit of the Camu Camu. Now, there's one sad thing about Camu Camu. It only grows in the tropics. Sure, I've got it growing in my greenhouse, but it'll never bear fruits there. This makes me have to go to the Amazon every January so I can get my fix for the year. <laughs> Until John, bless his heart, made those little tubes so that I can get my vitamin C the pleasant way every day of the year. Thanks, thanks, John. It was great work. <laughs>